All right, so Orochi Ishiro, okay. So if you don't know anything about these characters, they have mostly the same normals, but they have different special moves. And so the character type is totally different. So Orochi Ishiro, he's a grappler. So all, so instead of having a bunch of like special moves where he just hits you, he's like a brawler, he's a grappler. So he has like a one frame command grab. And he has an in ball command grab. We'll, we'll get into all this stuff later. So he, ha he has a he has a run grab. He just has a but he has a crap load of grabs. But he still has all of Yeshiro's crazy good normals. He still has the big fat cross up, you know, all this stuff. What he lacks is he doesn't have all of the safe specials that can you can just confirm in the super. So the trade-off is you don't have as many opportunities to just do like easy confirms or safe pressure, but your mix-up game is really good. I'm gonna approach this from the standpoint of playing him on point, because I'm I think that's pro that's probably his best position. But he has some opportunities for for meter dumping. It's just the confirms are not as easy to get. So your ba your basic game plan is you just use you know you use your normals right. You keep people out with neutral jump. Uh, neutral hop D, you have your stand, stand CD is is really good, has a lot of active frames, your, you know, down C, anti-air, jump CD is one of the best in the game, right? Like, all the same thing, his pokes, his low jab, stand, stand jab, standing light kick is really good. Like, and then you get them to block, and then you want to mix them up. So let me make them, let me make them a guard. You get in, and the first thing I want to cover is his half circle forward punch command grab. He grabs you and tosses you up in the air. Now first... The properties of this grab. This grab is invulnerable. It is fully invulnerable. I'm gonna have Yashiro jump and do a throw. So Yashiro's jumping and he's throwing when he, hit, he hits the ground. And if I do this right before he lands, I'm just gonna throw him. So I'm throw so I'm throwing ball, right? I can't be I can't be thrown out of this move. It's really fast too. It has startup, but it's very fast. So I can't get I can't get grabbed. If I back up, notice I went through it. I went through his far C. And it said punish. So your striking ball and your throwing ball. So his half circle back forward series, every button is a different version. So half circle back forward A is a one frame command grab. Which you can super cancel, but it will scale. So you can use this to like, this uses the kill, but the damage is never gonna be efficient. And then half circle back forward C is an anti-air command grab only. And it is air move in ball. It is seven frames. It is very, it seems very good. Because even though it's a half circle back forward motion, since you can just pre-buffer it. So like, let's say you're you're poking someone, right? You do this and you're in neutral and you can just do half circle back and just wait. And if you see them jump, you just do forward and heavy punch. If you mess up, you're too early. You're doing half circle back, you're going to block, right? It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, if I do this, I do it late, I'm just blocking, right? And if I get it on time, I get this. And then also, it does not have the additional scaling of the one frame command grab version. You get damage off this. You can convert into supers and get actual damage. So it's a very, very powerful tool. This is an OTG grab for this half circle back forward punch move. OTG grab. You can also do forward A into this. This is an overhead. And you get a little, you can get a little additional damage into hard knockdown. It leaves you right in front of them. So the half circle forward D series, the light version is a grab. Okay, it does combo from heavies, but you do not want to use this to combo because it 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 will scale your damage. So just to demonstrate, you can you can super cancel. So it's close C forward B half circle forward light kick, double half circle back punch super, which I will not mess up in a minute. But you can use this as a take grab, and you can you can you know combo into super. So that was three thirty seven. If I use the heavy kick version, which is not a grab. This is this is actually a hit. And it only works in ground combos. You cannot use this in juggles. This is gonna do significantly more damage. Yeah, it's gonna be like 400. And then the EX version of his half strike forward kick. This is also a hit. This move is projectile and ball. Let me get somebody with a projectile. And it's extremely fast. So you can probably do use this on reaction to a lot of different projectiles in the game, and it goes pretty damn far too. Horse go back punch is just a command jump, and then if you hit punch again, he'll do this falling. He'll do this falling punch move that knocks them down. Now, it's not overhead. You can do it really late, and it, it will it will be plus on block. And you can you can end block strings with it. It's kind of cool, I guess. It can also cross up. It's cool. 
It's not anything crazy. Uh, it seems to be mostly used in his uh, in his BNBs, but it can cross up. But you see, I'm double minus there, so it's not. It's just it's just something kind of there. This command jump still has recovery. If you don't do the punch thing, it has it has pretty significant recovery. I mean, you might catch people with this, but it's 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 pretty gimmicky. Now, if you play the old Neo Geo KOF games, you're probably running where this move is. So yeah, they just made this an EX. So this is this course go back to both punches. This is the grab. You can't duck it. And he can combo off this. You have quite a long time to run up. This isn't, uh, it's not nearly as strict as something like uh, Iori's command grab. And it scales. Like, this isn't going to do nearly as much as this combo would do. Um, just if it hit normally. Um, it's pretty slow. I think it's a better idea to just mix them up with uh, the half circle forward grab. Like, run up and do it. But, I mean, you can, you can, you know, cancel this off stuff and try, I mean, try to gimmick people out. You might be able to use this in some sort of uh, more advanced OSs from your jump-ins. Like, you do a cross-up, and maybe you you OS, like, uh, half circle forward, EX grab. And then, if they roll one way, you get EX grab. If they roll the other way, you get the grab the other way and grab their roll. So, maybe that's an application of it. But, raw, it's, it's pretty gimmicky, but, I mean, you're going to catch people with it. His double course go back kick super. So, this is projectile and ball. Yeah, it's completely projectile and ball. So that's the that's the that's the level one version, which you can control the distance of by doing light kick or heavy kick. But I don't think you can control, control the distance of the level two version. The level two version will always go the far distance. Yeah. Uh, almost, almost reaches, almost full screen. Yeah, but the the level two version goes really far, and you can cancel this in the climax. Both these versions. It has to be right when the skull hits. So you get in, and you mix them up with half circle forward, half circle forward punch. You can do combos and stuff, but the most straightforward, reliable thing to do would just be to let them land and do OTG forward A, and then you get a safe jump off of that. You can still cross them up. You have plenty of time to do whatever wake up setup you want to do. He's, you know, he's got that fat cross up, but you can also hit him in the air if you want to do restand resets. In the classic games, you would, you would usually super jump, and then you would do some sort of mix up. The best setup I've found so far for me seems to be doing an immediate hyper hop D and then normal jump. And it's you can make it do same side or you can walk forward a little bit and make it hit as a cross. -up. So that's same side. And then if I just walk forward before I jump forward, just just a, like a just like a pixel, you can you can get it to hit from the other side. And keep in keep in mind that Yasha is really tall. Right. So it's real, real dirty. And if you want to get get a little technical, and this is important because people are gonna wanna people are gonna wanna just roll out of your mix up, you can OS your jump. So when you do this jump, when you do this jump C, you can just hide that grab input. So I'm just hitting I'm just hitting hard punch twice when I do that jump in. So it only comes out if it whiffs. We'll just do roll forward and roll back for right now. And if they and if they don't roll, you just do you just go along normally. And then hit confirm into into whatever. You can cancel this move from close heavies. So you can do close C into it. If this mix-up hit, right? You, you just you can just loop it. So that's your basic mix-up game with half scroll punch. Yeah, so it's basically throw, basically like you know, throw vortex, make sure the OS the roll. And then he also had he has like a cute little, he has a cute little overhead mix-up. You can go into this, do a little bit of damage, use your normals, make them freeze up in neutral, get in and mix them up. If you want to do damage with a grab, I recommend the EX version of Pascal Ford Punch because this does not apply as much scaling. It should have the same properties as the normal version. Yeah. Still throw in ball, still attack in ball. Yeah. So your basic combo, if you want to use no meter, you want to do forward B, it's a half to go back forward C. Which is an anti-air grab. See, anyway, yeah, so... No meter. You can do this. 20%. And then, if you want to spin another bar, you want to do course back CC, you, just, you can just mash it. And then, half to go forward. Both punches on this series. This is an OTG grab. So, it's, I mean, it's pretty good damage. Like, you're not getting a lot of scaling. You're getting almost 30%. Once you have once you have one bar, that's when you can just start super cancel. Or one and a half bars. You can just go back to this route. 
and you can just super cancel this. So you can do, you can just super cancel this into level one or level two, and you get some, you get some nice damage for this. And this is this is the half circle back times two punch super. You just the cancel timing is right when he slams him down at the end there. Big skull. And as far as confirms go, so this is where this is where it gets tricky because he doesn't have all the options that are, that regular Shiro has, where he can just do like he could do four C and half circle forward A and be safe, and then just cancel into super or do things like that. So first of all, he has a couple target combos. His far A and close A can chain into far C, and you can do it from close A too. So you don't have to worry about the distance. You don't have to like chain into far A every time and do this. You can you can just always just do standing A, standing C. The problem is it has a lot of recovery and it doesn't work from max range. It can't, it can, it can whiff. And if you notice, I'm gonna hold up, it has a lot of recovery. It is not the same as just doing his far C, right? The far C, you notice I'm one minus on hit and this is this is double minus. So it has a, it's a, so it's not like a free confirm. You can't just, I mean, you can try to just fish for this, but you don't have a lot of stuff to cancel into. You know, you can cancel into command jump and try to do this, but I mean, you know, people just can just hit, they can just hit you out of it. So, but as long as you're close enough, you can chain lights into into this and it's the same as a heavy starter. So ideally for no meter, you want to chain into AC, like 2B, you can, do, you can just do 2B, 5A, C, and have support D. Any heavy confirm, so close C, forward B, you know, uh, you, you can, if far C, if you know it's punishing something, you just don't want to. You just don't want to throw this out, right? Because this is punishable on block. Um, or if you, if you chain into C, just do this. And then if you have meter, cancel into super. Level one, level two, you know, etc. Level two. At your that's like basic punish combo or hit confirm if if you get if you can, if you want to confirm this. But you want to if you confirm this from lights, you want to stop at your light. You don't want to finish into this. Um, unless you're feeling froggy and you want to cancel into this and do some do some gimmicky stuff. Now, of lights alone, you do have the option of using EX half support kick, which is also a hit, but it's extremely fast. So you can you can confirm into this if you if you think you're like way back here, you don't think your far C is gonna hit, right? You can use this, and you also always get the the half circle back forward EX command grab after it. It's not efficient damage, it's not a ton of damage, but it's damage, it's it's damage nonetheless. And you will, like I said, you also you also get it mid-screen. And also a little advance here, you can hit confirm his far C. I don't know if I can do it consistently. This helps if you like maybe during a match you see them with something. And you could go into this, but that's a little that's more, that's more nuanced. So that's that's part of why he's hard, he's a little bit harder to play from like a hit confirm standpoint of just hitting buttons than regular Yashiro. Now he also has a chain from his forward his uh, forward A and forward B in combos. So if you so like close C forward B, you can do C D, and he goes into this move that looks like a C plus D. It doesn't wall splat, and it just knocks them back into the air. You cannot do it by itself from forward B. So you do forward B, you can't go into C D, and forward A just knocks them down. It doesn't work. But whenever you cancel into these command normals, you can do this. And then usually the BNB would be in the half circle back forward C command grab. I don't recommend using this because you have to be extremely close for this to work. And the damage is not that much more than just comboing into half circle forward D. So I'm like here, it doesn't it doesn't work. I, you have to be point blank. You hit a jump in, it might not work. It's just it's it's too far away. It'll work consistently in the corner, but it's just it, you really don't have to worry about it. This the CD. Uh, the CD confirm. And then hit, but speaking of CD, his raw CD is very good. I would recommend off of this, run in, forward B, into the air grab. You can actually do this from pretty far. The run up, the run up into this is not too, is not too, is not too hard because that have to go back forward C command grab has a lot of range. And then just, and then just super cancel from there. If you want to make it real easy, you could do forward B from a longer range into have to go forward uh, both kicks, but your your damage potential is way lower because you can't super cancel. The most you're going to get after it is the, the EX OTG command grab. If you're playing him as second or anchor, the cancel timing is right after he throws him up. I recommend doing the, right after he throws him up, do the climax motion and hold C plus D and you'll, you should get the cancel. You can always cancel into climax from either of his, of all of his level ones and level twos, but he cannot do level one into level two super either way. 
and then his max confirms for second position, you would just want to go straight into the half skill back times two punch super, and then climax off that. Just do something basic. And this should be at least 500 damage. If you're third position, you can add the half circle forward kick into level one. Close C4 would be half circle forward kick. Oh, this might do, yeah, this is going to do like at least 70%. God dang. Shatter Strike, you can just use forward B into the air command grab. The halves to go back forward C and then just super cancel. This is pretty, is pretty efficient. Really, really, like you're always in, the, you're pretty much always in their face. And then uh, even on air hit, it still works. That you need to know. And notice how high they are in the air. Like the, like the timing is, is very consistent for, for this, for this sort of thing.